to the feed, so let's get into this tea. I got my honey sauce with me. So, y'all, we are about to get into a little update from Krishan's man or whatever. So, apparently, her man ain't her man. Okay? Now, this young man right here goes by the name of Sean F. All right? This is the guy who we thought was her man. But anyway, he's about to say, oh, here go the camera. Always the damn camera. The remote. I need a remote. Um, he came out to say a couple things as far as this, you know, Krishan thing going, uh, him basically not being a man. First of all, remember he was in New York, y'all, and we thought that they was together, but absolutely not. Just ironic that he was there at the same time. So right now, I'll be a fool not to drop right now, so I'm gonna drop on Saturday. So he dropping his music. So he had, uh... Gave us a list of things to read. All right. Let me be very clear. Don't compare me to no ninja that had to act an ass on social media to get rich. Anybody, oh, number two, anybody saying me about to drop music as clout chasing can get the F out of here because I'm a whole ass rapper. I've been teasing four different videos the last two weeks, okay? Number three, y'all in this girl business so much her fan base should be called the Crack Rocks. Woo, all right. And then he said, even if I said the shit wasn't me, y'all wouldn't believe it because the internet is fake. All right. He said us being in New York at the same time was a coinka dink. All mm -hmm. right. I've known Blueface for almost six years now. I'm sure he would have texted me if he thought I was trying to play stepdaddy. All right. Okay. And then he said, hold on. Her fans, he fine, but he don't got dimple. So then this nigga show his dimples. All jokes aside, though, that ain't me. I might have stirred the pot, but y'all math ain't mathing. Back to regularly scheduled programming. All right, so Sean say that he ain't trying to be the step pappy and he ain't her man. I want to know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do y'all believe him? Quite frankly, he has no reason to lie. He's a grown-ass man. Maybe he's not. Krishan already said he wasn't. Maybe he ain't. But, nigga, you got a twin, okay? You definitely got a twin. Mm -hmm. All right, next. Blueface, baby. What did he delete? What are they deleting? He's always deleting. What oh, isn't God. he deleting? What isn't he? So let me just let y'all hear this one. Over it. Because he's showing um that child cheeks. Jesus, the cheeks. What you want to do today, girl? You want to go on a shopping spree? Right. Huh? She gets so tired of yeah. that nigga in that camera. So then she decides to put them cheeks up on. All right. All right. You just keep selling them records, all right? <laughs> just keep selling them records. I know he, he trolling. He sound like a joke. Yeah, I know he trolling, but that I wouldn't want to hear that shit, bro. He just keeps selling them records. <laughs> just keeps selling. Boy, who? He gets so happy about money. Who it's great. are you? Blue face, baby. Over This show did. This show did. This show did. <laughs> <laughs> baby, you keep selling them records? Mm. You get all the dick you want. <laughs> okay, Ike. <laughs> Dead on. <laughs> That shit crazy. No music, no music. Hey, I ain't gonna lie though, y'all. They got a bang on their hands, bruh. Everybody is reposting this song. Call it what you want, but it's a banger. Yeah. It's a banger, y'all. Um, all right, this is his updated D uh not DJ, his studio. I think it's five. A hundred thousand is looking worth it. And that's dope, too, because she ain't got to leave. You know what I'm saying? The kids can be there, blah, blah, blah. Now, I, what I will say is he can't lie no more and say he got to go to the studio when he oh, trying to go shit. get some ass from somebody else. <laughs> what? Why you say, oh, shit? Because he going to be like, I got to go to the studio. What you got to say? I got to go to that studio over there. The session booked over there. They had to book it over there. 
He's been still going to be lying. Been there. <laughs> this nigga ain't shit. That. Oh, you niggas, saying niggas ain't. Oh. Niggas ain't shit, but holy freaks. That shit terrible, niggas. Bitches All right. too. Yeah, but everybody. <laughs> so this is um, Blueface's mother. She had something to say about his um, little rant on Twitter about serving whoever first, girl. You know she a mess. It was your black ass mama who had her in the kitchen learning how to fry some chicken for your black ass. Oh, because she he was talking about black women yesterday. Okay. Mm. Okay. That was your black ass mama, not her mama. We gonna get some shit cleared up today. <laughs> don't play with our don't play you with our heritage. Up we some strong motherfuckers. We get it. We get it. We got big mouths. We get it. But don't try to don't try to put us down or take us off no pedestal. Cause we the ones who got you there. I didn't see no Hispanic lady. Girl, you the one who had this ungrateful okay. mother scooter. Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. In this generation, these men. Matter of fact, let me make this damn thing a short too. Let me make this a short, because I've been having some things I've been wanting to say, and these shorts just ain't been coming how I want them to come. So give me a second. We just going to do this mid-video. All right, y'all. So Blueface uh, has been saying something about, well, excuse me, he said something yesterday about black women. It's only black women saying that the kids get served first because he feels as though as daddy you should get served first. Now, depending on who in the kitchen and who not in the kitchen is when I get served. I ain't no man. I ain't trying to say I'm daddy. But what I am trying to say is the she second thing head he, of household. Yes. The second thing he tried to say was it's a cultural thing because Jaden feed him first. Sir, your mother is black. Okay. I don't know how black men can talk about black women when you come out these coaches. Okay. All right. Now, as much as y'all, she a dyke. She, well, I don't give a fuck what you, I got a coochie, baby. And if I want to have a baby, she coming out of here. You understand me? We have, you ungrateful motherfucker. I'm sick of it. I'm not sick of it. Do you understand me? Now let's finish listening to what his mama had to say. <laughs> In that football field. I didn't see nobody teach you how to, I didn't see no woman tell you we don't play wide receiver, motherfucker. We play quarterback or nothing. Okay. I didn't see nobody telling you that but your mama. Hello. You was trying to run around catching balls all day. Oh. I was the one who said, if I'm going to sit in this hot ass sun, you're going to run this motherfucking field and learn how to play chess and not checkers. I Listen. Okay. I'm with Carl. Listen, when she right, baby. Okay. I'm with her when she right. I was, that was me. That was your black ass mama. Mm. So let's get this black ass mama shit together. Hello. Okay. Y'all don't, you don't woke me up on the wrong side of the motherfucking bed. I ain't see now motherfucker next to me. <laughs> Not even the phone. That's a whole nother conversation. Girl, we just going to end that one right there. Because quite frankly, I am sick of it. Over it. Black women should get treated better. But you know what? You know what's happening? Black women treating themselves better. And then niggas are still feeling some type of way that they we treat our own off. self better. They mad. Like, oh, they damn. big mad. You... <laughs> okay. They big mad that we can just run every business better than them. Get all they hoes better than them. I love you better talk about Come on now. I'm just saying. Like, I don't need you to open a jaw. Okay. <laughs> I don't need you to put up a bed. Shout out to Task Rabbit or ourselves. I don't need you to bring nothing in the house. I don't need you to open a motherfucking door. And to be no. quite frank with y'all, you don't even need a nigga in the household to have a baby because I can go pay for that too. My point okay. is black women get, get disrespected by black men so much. It's like, y'all have trained women to take care of themselves. Period. You've trained Hello. women to take care of these children. You leave them by themselves with okay. the child, with the kids and shit. That they got to bring in the bacon, bake the bacon. 
Okay. Yeah, women don't mean Slice it. Everything. Hell, I got to slaughter that motherfucker. Wow. Wow, changing wow, a diaper. With a, a baby on my hip with the other one over there in the corner that need help with homework. The other one back there Talk trying about to get it. the other one off they motherfucking neck. Talk about Because I'm over here trying to deal with this motherfucker. I just okay. don't get it. Over. But it's okay. Y'all did good training. <sighs> And you did this to yourself. You mad that lesbians be taking the women in? Lesbians get all the women. Y'all give them to me. Camera. I know I did that. Oh. You, 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 you give them to us. Damn. Just be sliding your woman right to another woman. That's on y'all. But anyway, y'all let us know what y'all think down in the comment section below. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Shabay.